legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today's gonna be a comprehensive guide to Scarlet Fruits. They're basically the red apple looking things that you get from Dusk Dungeons, from the Party Dungeons. You'll get them from Moonfall, you'll get them from Frozen Path, any of the Party Dungeons. Now, at first, Scarlet Fruits are added to the game with uh, Dust True. So, with, during Dust True, uh, Scarlet Apples, Scarlet Fruits are very rare. So, what you want to do is you do want to sell them and make some uh, quick gold while, while they are so rare. But later on, they will be introducing a box which will give you Scarlet Apples with every defeat of, uh, of those party dungeons. So, they become almost too many and you'll never actually have too little you'll actually have a huge surplus as you can see i have hundreds of these scarlet fruits so in this video i'm going to tell you how to save ingots how to save your ingots and make your scarlet fruits all the strategies to make yourself stronger than your competition okay so very first thing you have to know is you have to go to the mysterious merchant uh, I would recommend setting an alarm if you can put an uh, sort of like alarm in your discord that would be best they do have like bots that for your discord for your guild so that it there's alarm at nine nine o'clock uh, server time 12 o'clock server time three o'clock server time six o'clock and nine o'clock I think those are the times when the mysterious merchant spawns and you want to go into the system chat and click on it it, it will be the green the green coordinates and it will take you to jackson now the jackson will have very very cheap silver ingot uh soul stones and you will need soul stones in order to make your level two scarlet fruits your level three scarlet fruits so on and so forth so you want to come here and buy these with your silver ingots, which are quite plentiful. You have a whole lot more silver ingots. and You want to save your gold bound ingots for something else. Now, if you get here fast, if you get here fast, you'll be able to choose the, the soul stone that you need. And sometimes if, you're, if you come here late, there might only be soul stones that you don't need. You still buy them because it's a good deal it's about half the price of how much these soul stones are worth so you're basically buying those soul stones at half price and you can use the tabula rasa you can buy the tabula rasa and change it to a different soul stone that you do need and it will still be cheaper so always in my opinion try to get soul stones from jackson it's the best deal all right so later on in the game everyone's going to have their four books and five books built by that time, I do not recommend you to get uh, the. <clears throat> by that time, I don't recommend you to get uh, those sacred books anymore. What you want to do is you want to get a chest, and inside the chest, you will be able to get a lot of soul stones. So that's another way to get soul stones in order to build up your scarlet fruits. So the soul stone chest, it's relatively inexpensive. If you get 30 a day. It's only 1,800 uh, of the hero orders, so it's it's a pretty good deal. Be sure to do your Divine Valleys, get your hero orders up. There is a second update near the time when Soul Hunter is released, and that will double the number of soul fruits that you can use. So don't don't actually delete all of your apples. You will still need them, and you will have to go in and remember to upgrade your your scarlet apples every single day what's kind of annoying is that you can only use 10 apples a day and what happens is i keep forgetting to create these apples every day and use them so what has been very easy easier for me is if i make a couple of stacks and uh, use them for the whole week so every time i look in my bag if I have a stack of these apples already made and ready to use, I'll just use them every day. So I do recommend that you go ahead and create these apples 
the scarlet fruits ahead of time so that you can use them. Be sure not to make, for example, if you are a magic class, be sure to only make magic attack fruits. Don't make physical attack fruit because that doesn't actually help you. It just gives you fake CP. And yeah, that's the fake CP is just a waste, a waste of good ingots. You can uh, access the next level of fruits by having 60, by having 60 of those fruits on each level. So for level one, you'll want to get at least 60 of those fruits to access level two. You need 60 level two fruits to access level three. And you need 60 level three fruits to access level four. I'll show you how to make each one of these uh, sacred fruits. Level one is very easy. You just need five uh, level one soul stones plus the fruit. For level two, you're going to need uh, two level four soul stones. And those are the soul stones that you can get from Jackson, the mysterious merchant. And you will need one level front level one fruit. Okay, so you have a 50% chance of succeeding. If you fail, you will lose either the fruit or the two soul stones. Okay, so it's not that bad. 50% chance. It's not that bad. You you can make them very very easily. If it was like a 20% chance or something, then it might be kind of kind of hard. But 50% chance, not bad for level two fruits. And for level three fruits, it's actually not too bad either. It's a 45% chance. And you will just use a level two fruit and four level four stones. Okay, so level two fruit and four level four stones that you are collecting every day, several times a day. If you can just remember or have an alarm and just hit, hit, Hit the mysterious merchant at 9, 12, 3, 6, 9. I think that's the times. I could be wrong, but I believe those are the times. Just every three hours, try to check. All right. So just have these fruits made. And every time you open your bag, it will help you remember to use those 10 a day. Because if you don't have them ready to use, you may forget to make them. Yeah, I have 462 of these fruits. So, yeah, go ahead. Especially if, if it's if there is a market, if you can sell these fruits, go ahead and sell them. You're not going to need all of them. All right, here we go. We're going to start making a level three fruit. And in order to access level three fruits, you just basically have to learn. You have to use 60 of the level two fruits. And the percentage is 40%. And I made it. So, I mean, 45%. 45% is actually still pretty good. It's not that bad at all. And you can also use 10 of these a day. In order to make a level 4 fruit, you will use 6 level 4 soul stones and a level 3 fruit. So, it's getting a little bit tougher to make because not only do you have to... You know, you have to pass the 50% chance, pass the 45% chance. You now have to pass a 40% chance. So it's getting harder and harder to make the level 4 fruits. But it'll be something that you'll be working on for a long time. I'm not even close to level 4. I'm still working on level 3. For those of you who want to max everything out, there is also a level 5 fruit. In order to get level 5 Scarlet Fruits, what you will need are Dragon Crystals and you get Dragon Crystals by ranking high enough in Realm War. By being one of the top teams, by being in the King Division, by being ranking as one of like the top 10, top 13 teams, if you're in the King Division, you will get these Dragon Crystals and you will combine a Dragon Crystal with a level 4 fruit and it looks like it is guaranteed to make into a morph fruit 5. Oh, it's called a morph fruit? I keep calling them scarlet fruits. Alright, well, 
Yeah, well, it turns into a level five fruit, and that is how you make level five fruits. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on March 15, 2021. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.